Good morning. Today, my apartment is such a mess because I opened a bunch of packages. So I want to clean my apartment. And then it's one of those days where I don't have any plans and I wake up thinking, oh, I'm going to go to a cafe and read. But I actually have a ton of stuff to do. <laughs> so I'm going to get some things on my to-do list out of the way, hopefully by noon. And then I want to enjoy the day. Let's clean. Okay, next I want to clean my kitchen. Welcome to my kitchen. It actually doesn't look that bad, but um, I have some dishes piled up from this week. And yeah. I also decided to fix this chaos in my refrigerator. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, but I had to expose myself in order to get myself motivated to actually deep clean my fridge. You can't really see here, but I took out everything and then cleaned out every single compartment. And in the end, it looked like this. I know it's still really full, but this is the before and after and you'll probably see the difference. So yes, I changed. Um, I bought the same dress as I wore in my other video, in my beacon video, and I loved it so much. So I got it in white, but it was so see-through. Um, you can literally see my whole body through the dress. I don't know why they make dresses like this, so I was gonna return it. But I realized I had like a slip dress that was too short for me to wear with anything. So I actually sewed the slip dress under this dress and let me show you so very happy how this turned out all I did really I don't know how to sew so all I did really was kind of like sew this part and this part together and I just let the back like droop behind me and it works so uh, i'm ready to start my day i cleaned my room i cleaned my kitchen it's 10 30 i'm so happy that i got this done still in the am and i filmed two content i'm gonna recycle in a little bit and i decided to kind of sit down and write a to-do list i had stuff to get done all week but it was like in my head in my mental list and i never got around to it so today's the day that i'm going to just like get it all done in 30 minutes these are all errands and go to my favorite cafe and sit and read or something so after i powered through some of my errands i decided to cook myself some brunch so i sauteed the onions and then some chopped tomatoes and can you guess what I'm making? I'm trying to make an omelet. I've been trying to make omelets for almost three years now, but I never really perfected it. So I'm actually supposed to flip it with a flick of my wrist and have this perfect round shape. But as per usual, I think I overfilled it and it just exploded. But anyways, this is the beauty of cooking by myself for myself is that it doesn't really matter how it turns out as long as it tastes good. So I put my usual toppings of okonomiyaki sauce and kipi mayo with some seaweed furikake and had it with some ice water and it tasted really really good. I really would love to someday master the omelette. I don't know what it takes, maybe I need to take a class. But for now, I had this omelette, it was super good. And after I was done eating my brunch, I headed out to a cafe. I decided to check out a new cafe that I've never been to so this is a cafe called White Noise and I tried their coffee and I finally sat down and read my book This is a book called Kitchen Wise and I really like it because it teaches you very basic food science and flavor science So I finally got the luxury of sitting down having a coffee and reading and it 
it's time for me to go meet my friend. As per usual, the subway train suddenly started running on a different line, so I got off the station and hopped on a cab to go meet my friend at this restaurant called Doan in East Village. I really don't even remember what we ordered, but every single thing we ordered was so, so good, and we ended up super full. This is their bathroom, it was super lit, it reminded me of my glory days and also made me realize I probably will never be back in a club like this because I have become such a grandma. Finally, I got home and recycled and called it a night. Thank you so much for following me through my Saturday and good night.